Grit from the city covers this building. Detective, this is an improper processing method. Detective, there's no evidence to collect here. This is not the Hickman residence. This store is run down, but it isn't broken. What are you looking at? Pelt the store with an apple? That's not very detective-like. If you want to buy something, you'll need to go inside the store. This is a building. Are you feeling all right? Why would you post this on the wall? If you want to buy something, you do so inside the store. This place sells cigarettes. It doesn't want cigarettes smashed into the building. What do you think this is? A shoe store? Why smash these pretzels against the wall? Post these leads on the wall? They're confidential. This person is not authorized to handle evidence. Now what would this man do with little baggies? The man asked for change, not paper. Nah, it would never fit him. Why would this man want a piece of chalk? He's not an artist. This belongs in your kit, not in this guy's side. Stop! That would be assault in the first degree. This young man doesn't appear to have a day job. This man is not a department authorized paid informant. You don't hold a warrant for this man's arrest, detective. Can you recall any unusual activity in the neighborhood last night? Any arguments or unfamiliar people? Could you be more explicit, sir? I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'm Detective Carey, LAPD. I saw you last night in the alley. You were in the alley last night. I thought you might be able to tell me what you know about the murders. Sir? I, um, I didn't, um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, what? I'm with the LAPD. I'd like to... There's no dial tone and no change in the coin return. Useless. Sir, would you care for an apple? Apples are very nutritious. Sir, do you recognize the man in this photograph? Sir, how about a candy bar, a little afternoon treat? I don't smoke. You know, that kid, he, he was going to be a ball player, man. The big leagues he was. God bless you. You're very kind. Got some spare change a fella can have? I don't think so. Unless I could drink it. I don't think so. I like to drink my lunch. Uh, the picture's all fuzzy. I don't see any guy. Yeah, okay, sure. It's yeah, just pop, pop, popping sound, you know? I don't know. Put the cuffs away. This young man has not offered any new information regarding the case. The Times probably wouldn't appreciate that action, nor would the department. The Lucky Mini Mart. With a name like that, they must sell lottery tickets. This place sells cigarettes. It doesn't want cigarettes smashed into the building. Climbing over that fence would be fun, but not very dignified for a detective, detective. Detective, get back to work. Excuse... Excuse me, I'd like to talk to you. You have no cause to draw your firearm. Holster your weapon. You've just committed a crime against society and humankind. You've identified yourself already. This young man looks familiar from the alley last night. Shooting out store windows is not the LAPD way. Secure your gun. Everywhere you look, beer ads. Don't leave these lying around. They could prove important. Now that would make one big splat. 
There's nothing but gravel and dirt here. No need to collect it. Hey, what are you doing? This is evidence. Leave this out here in the sun, and it will be one melted mess. Stop. You're not a sidewalk artist. You're a detective, remember? Carrie, the world is not one giant ashtray. This is no way to treat your paperwork, detective. Spit and chewing gum. Keep your hands to yourself. There's nothing but city grime here. No need to collect it. These are leads. Don't leave them lying around. Stop. Ma Bell would have you arrested. Secure your weapon. Telecommunications. A modern convenience. The telephone is currently in use, detective. Cleaning the window is pointless. You've offered enough assistance. Any more change and he'd have enough for a cheap bottle of wine. You've offered enough assistance. Any more change and he'd have enough for a cheap bottle of wine. This person is not authorized to review this document, detective. He's stinky and he needs a bath. Rethink your actions, Carrie. This man is not a homicide detective. What are you doing, Carrie? Stop. These are live rounds. This man should not have this clip. This man isn't interested in Hickman's funeral. This man does not retain evidence regarding your case. You open bag, you in big trouble. What you do with that? You want hardware store. You don't like, you put back. You buy, you keep. No refund. Want fresh fruit? You go pick from tree. You crazy? You, you stop that. You steal from me? You pay. No steal. What you want me to do? No return. You want? You pay. No exchange. I know you a cop. What you want? I get away. You sweet on me? I have husband. I no smoke, waste of money. You pay fair price, fruit is good. You try cheat me, you pay more. What you buy? American men all same, too forward. You want, you pay. No return, no cash back. We no make keys here. How does saying go? You wipe my fire? Tell my husband. I.e. broken mirror, much bad luck come your way. What, you show me advertisement for party places? I am married lady. I know pharmacist. You see Freddy on Sierra Street. You handle fruit rough? Watch out, you bruise my fruit. You throw away money? You crazy. Stop! What are you doing? You hurt my business. I sell only prepackaged merchandise. You stop. No open package till you purchase. Bon Rooney, you need doctor? You pay me. Well, you get candy. Not my candy. No singles I sell in packages. You pay me. What do you do with glue? You no buy here, no return. Where you get that? I don't sell hardware. You talking to me? You want to buy? You bring your own bag? You one of those yuppie peoples? You drive Volvo? Want purchase? You drug addict? I monitor grew. I want no more police trouble. You troubled policeman? No more grew. You have drug problem? You leave grew alone. What you do? You try to cheat me? You want? You give me money. That too much. Apple old. Cost you less. 
You smart. You know a goodbye when you see it. You shop here again. No make change. What you buy? Rat fish, not fruit. I take money put in register. You give me money. Keep hands off money machine. I take money. Aye, you crazy man, very bad crazy man. You stop. You bad man. You poison my apples. Very bad man. I sell only whole apple, no halves. You stop. You need doctor. Fruit no talk. You okay? I get money. My store. Aye, what you got? You crazy? I owner of Lucky Mini Mart. I work hard for my store. My name is Kim Chi. He shop here sometimes. He police? Nah, he work at Rainbow. He cook. No, maybe couple of days. I run business. No time to run around and do your job too. You want to buy something? No talk. You shop. No purchase. This business, not video arcade. Yeah, yeah. Hello. You no more hang out here. You make purchase or go. I got business to run. No good. No customers. No more talk. This is business. Buy or go. Business not good. Slow. Customers afraid to come out of houses. Not good. What to tell? Boys either good or bad. Good boy. He was good boy. Always help me for free. He good boy. He try and stay away from gangs. No trouble. Bobby good boy. Okay, you ask. I already told police all I know. What you want? You no like selection? She make you mad? Ha! <laughs> Look like you make her mad. Ha! <laughs> you talking to me? I over here. TV work with clicker, not clapper. Voice no good to turn on. You wash window? I don't pay. You do for free. Everybody know who you are. You big cop. Bring big trouble. Not too smart, big policeman. You push go on TV. Yeah, yeah. You say for others. I see TV. I see you in neighborhood last night. You not come but for dead cop. Oh, you bad man. You try and ruin my fruit. Bad man. You pay me. I boss. That apple for my friend, not for sale. I'd like to ask you a few questions. You said you saw me last night. Did you happen to see anything else, anything out of the ordinary, such as different people or cars in the neighborhood? Well, if you think of anything, I'd appreciate hearing from you. Just call me at Parker Center. Ask for robbery homicide detective Carey. Hmm. Uh. That Christy Bilden is a real thorn in my side. She doesn't look very friendly. Though it was picked from a tree and thus semantically dead, it does not require chalking. Though it was picked from a tree and thus semantically dead, it does not require chalking. Destroying this fruit would be unlawful, Gary. Though it's noteworthy that this store sells fresh fruit, it's not something to be included in your official report. Fresh fruit is a rarity in these small convenience stores. Put the cuffs away. This is an innocent citizen, Carrie. Put the piece away. The consequences of your actions are evident. She is not the intended recipient of Hickman's personal belongings, Detective. This is evidence for God's sake. Get a grip, Carrie. It's Kim Chi. The store owner. Are you attempting to make a purchase, detective? 
This is not a pharmacy. You can't get a refill or a refund. Careful, Carrie. The owner might think you opened a bag of pretzels without buying them first. Careful, Carrie. The owner might think you opened a bag of pretzels without buying them first. Don't go busting up this place, Carrie. That's not the LAPD way. This is not a record and tape store, Carrie. This is not a clothing store, Carrie. There are no exchanges. Leaving your wallet lying around is a good way to get it stolen. Detective, more respect should be paid to this young boy's life. Carrie, the door doesn't require a toll. No need to bust out. Just open the door. Glue on the door? Is that some kind of prank? Bad idea, detective. Kind of a dirty hairy move, eh, detective? Carrie, you don't have keys to the Lucky Mini Mart. The door leads out into the mean streets of the neighborhood. It's open, Carrie. Put the pry bar away. No need to jimmy the door. It's unlocked. The door isn't voice control, detective. Try something else. That would be a waste of good fruit, detective. Identifying yourself to a rack of glue causes one to ponder your mental state, detective. Identifying yourself to a rack of glue causes one to ponder your mental state, detective. Amico glue, industrial strength. What would chalking this woman accomplish, detective? What would she possibly be interested in that for, Carrie? Save your batteries, Carrie. Showing off your equipment is aggressive and unnecessary, detective. Plinking cans is fun, detective. However, it's standard practice to shoot them when they're empty and not on a store shelf. Canned goods bring out the kid in you. Knock it off and get to work. The shelves are stocked with canned goods. Nothing unusual about that. Are you shopping, detective? Get back to work. Carrie, this is not a crime scene. Put the chalk away. This woman appears quite confident and capable. She looks mad, Carrie. Playing with fire is a bad idea, Carrie. You've already recorded the information. Put that away, Carrie. Strong arming people is not the LAPD way. Why would Ms. Chi know anything about this shoe? Forget asking. Detective, a stiff drink is not what you need. Alcohol does strange things to rational thought, Carrie. Get a grip. These small stores often exploit the poor by selling cheap liquor. Unfortunately, it's not illegal. These small stores often exploit the poor by selling cheap liquor. Unfortunately, it's not illegal. Talking to inanimate objects is a sign of stress, detective. That's a wasted idea, Carrie. Carrie, you have no time to read the paper. That would make one sticky mess, detective. Forget it. Maybe you need some rest, detective. Setting the paper on fire would not eliminate the headline from the cosmic scheme of things. Hickman and the boy would still be dead. Setting the paper on fire would not eliminate the headline from the cosmic scheme of things. Hickman and the boy would still be dead. Fire burns brightly, Carrie, but it won't erase the light of those killed. Fire burns brightly, Carrie, but it won't erase the light of those killed. Hope you're not expecting a reply, Carrie. It's not forthcoming. It's old, but it's not broken, Detective. That's a different kind of idea, Detective. The register looks as old as the store. The register responds to the sound of change, Detective, not your voice. Carrie, you don't need to grocery shop now. Detective Carey, would you care to make a comment on Officer Hickman's murder?
What are you doing? Hey! Detective, secure your weapon. Detective, the apple couldn't care less, that is, if it could care. By the way, Miss Chi, did you know Bobby Washington? Is there anything else you could tell me about Bobby, Miss Chi? I was wondering if you'd remembered anything more about last night's events. Hello, how are you today? Good day, how are you? A neon beer sign fills the window. Looking for an echo detective? The room's not big enough. The force has counseling just for the asking, detective. Consider it. Save the target practice for the academy, Carrie. Holster your weapon. Carrie, don't break the window. Everywhere you go nowadays, there's a TV. You can't reach it, Carrie. Besides, it's on a remote. Hey, Carrie, it's not the TV's fault that there's bad programming. Ms. Chi has the clicker. It's not coin-operated. Stop, Carrie. This is private property. That's better left alone. You're here to investigate, not search, Detective. Do you believe a crime has occurred in the store, Detective? Shooting up the place is not the way to relieve tension. Stop. Only you can prevent wildfires, Detective. Destroying private property is illegal, Carrie. You should know that. What are you attempting to collect? Food samples? I'm Detective Carey with the LAPD. Can you tell me your name and what your position is here? Do you recognize the man in this picture? How's business today? Oh, it, it wasn't like that. You see, she... This is the murdered policeman who was found in the alley. Do you remember when you last saw him? No comment. No, ma'am. He was a police officer. Do you remember when you last saw him? Plinking cans is fun, detective. However, it's standard practice to shoot them when they're empty and not on a store shelf. That would be nasty, detective. Cigarettes and food just don't mix. They might be fattening, but that's not criminal, detective. High fat, low nutritional value. Often what one sees in these small convenience stores. High fat, low nutritional value. Often what one sees in these small convenience stores. Notating the caloric content won't further your investigation, Carrie. It's more effective to display your badge than to lay it on the counter, Detective. It's more effective to display your badge than to lay it on the counter, Detective. That's a useless gesture, Detective. The counter is grimy. It could use a good cleaning. You're on the clock, Detective. You're not allowed to gamble. Displaying your hardware is intimidating to most citizens, Detective. Use of force is unnecessary, Carrie. Carrie, Hickman's personal belongings deserve more respect. The owner doesn't care that you work out of Parker's Center. Leave your keys behind, Carrie, and suffer the consequences. The counter has a plethora of merchandise. Ah, lottery tickets. Fool's gold. There's nothing of special interest here, Detective. Don't leave your memories behind. Keep them. Keep the photograph. Though it's noteworthy that this store sells fresh fruit, it's not something to be included in your official report. Detective, reshelving merchandise is not why you came in here. Chips are chips. It doesn't matter if you're a cop or not. Hiding the candy for some unsuspecting future customer? Don't be juvenile, Carrie. Chalk and cholesterol just don't mix, Carrie. Eat those and your cholesterol count would go through the roof, Detective. Odd idea, Carrie. Hello. I'd like to ask you... Sorry to... Detective, unprotected contact with human blood should be avoided due to AIDS. Leave it alone. Feels rough, as it should. This is not Parker Center. Your ID won't do you any good. A concrete pole is effective cover during an armed confrontation. Feels like steel. Firing upon a metal surface is sure to produce ricochet. 
Carrie, Hickman's photo is not some missing pet flyer. That would make a very loud noise. Now get back to work. It's the fenced driveway belonging to the Rainbow Cafe. There's no reply. Detective, random firing can result in ricochet and the death of an innocent citizen. Detective, those are your keys. Carrie, you don't have a warrant or a reason to enter. You're starting to piss me off, pal. I got a business to run, and you ain't good for it. You got earwax or something? You ain't listening? I don't want your business. Talk is, you're a cop, and cops are bad for my business. My advice to you, keep moving. You're making my customers jumpy. Like I told you, you're not welcome here. Looks like the service door, deliveries only. No more deliveries for this establishment. The door is locked up tight. Find a coin, detective? City sidewalks are incredibly durable if you think about it. In L.A., you really can feel the air. It's a clear day in the City of Angels. Detective, it doesn't look like this guy wants to shake your hand. This guy's one unfriendly dude. There's no doorman, thus no one to tip. The fence is locked. Sight of armed confrontation. Detective, what exactly do you wish to notate? Make a mental note of your feelings, and when you have time, discuss the firefight with an apartment counselor. Make a mental note of your feelings, and when you have time, discuss the firefight with a department counselor. Detective, this is no place to hang a personal photograph. What purpose does this serve? You know, small business people like me are important to this city. I'm going to call City Hall or somebody if you don't back off. Have a little respect. Random firing can result in ricochet and the death of an innocent citizen. Holster your weapon. The ricochet off this building could kill somebody. Catherine Hickman does not live here. Careful. Setting this building on fire would be an act of arson. People who play with fire get burned. Put the matches away, detective. Detective, you don't have keys to the Rainbow Cafe. Detective, you can't arrest a building, no matter how it's painted. The building itself is not pertinent to your case. Carrie, hanging vacation photos on this wall is not professional. This building is in need of repair, but that's not your job. Calm down. Though the Washingtons live in this neighborhood, this is not their house. There's no one around. Carrie, the building might be closed, but that's no reason to deface the walls with graffiti. Customer entrance to the Rainbow Cafe. The sounds of friendly chatter emanate from inside. Detective, threatening people is no way for a police officer to behave. Buying your way in is pathetic. Feels like a building should. This is not the proper facility to process these. Detective, what are you attempting to collect? They have a delivery system set up for fresh fruit and vegetables. Detective, identifying yourself to a building? The operation has been shut down. The door is locked. There is no reason to shoot your way in, Detective. SID swept the area clean. There's nothing left for you to pick up. Trying to bribe your way in with a cigarette? The operation is closed down. There's no one left inside. The operation is closed. There's no one left to identify yourself to. What are you attempting to do? Detective, this is no way to handle evidence. Carrie, the building might be closed, but that's no reason to deface the walls with graffiti. Detective, what are you trying to do? Detective, hasn't there been enough violence? Defacing property is illegal and unsuitable behavior for a detective. They serve their own desserts. They don't need your candy bar. It appears to be a victim of arson. Holster your weapon. Get the boy some help. Do you really think he's hungry? Detective, he needs an ambulance, not your shield. He's still breathing. That would be a bit premature. Emo's blood is spilled upon the concrete. That doesn't go to me, Detective. Though the Washingtons live in this neighborhood, this is not their house. The site of a most violent gunfight. 
SID has swept the area. There's nothing left to be collected. The place is already closed up tight. Don't leave live rounds laying around. Someone could misuse them. No gloves required. SID has handled the situation. Detective, the area has been swept clean by SID. Hello? Holster your weapon. The ricochet off this building could kill somebody. There's nothing left to collect. Detective, identifying yourself to the door seems pointless. The Rainbow Cafe, a rather inviting little place. What evidence do you see? Carrie, that would be vandalism, and that would be very unprofessional. Holster your weapon. There is no threat upon your life. Detective, holster your weapon. There could be innocent people behind that door. Detective, holster your weapon. There could be innocent people behind that door. The building is gutted, but it still has a door. Talking to doors is strange behavior, even for a homicide detective. Second identification is unnecessary, Carrie. What this kid might do with these baggies, you don't want to be held responsible for. What this kid might do with these baggies, you don't want to be held responsible for. Giving your chalk away, Carrie? This kid is no artist. No need to pay for information. Carrie, this young man does not have proper authority to view this document. This kid is not a homicide detective. Don't give him your kit. Detective, there's no reason to give this man 9mm ammunition. None whatsoever. Detective, there's no reason to give this man 9mm ammunition. None whatsoever. Why would you give this young man your jar? Detective, why give this young man a canister of glue? That's odd. He might be sassy, but that's not criminal. This young man has done nothing to provoke such an action. Detective, holster your weapon. What is it you wish to record? Stop. Your action would be first-degree assault. This young man could misinterpret your gesture. Put the putty knife away. Detective, paid informants must first be cleared through the department. SID has swept the area clean. All that remains are memories. Carrie, you have better things to do than go on a scavenger hunt. This field has been witness to violence and pain. This field has been burned to the ground. You pull the heavy door open. What's your name, young man? Do you live in the neighborhood, Emo? You have an address, maybe a phone number? I was wondering if you recognize this man in the photo. I'd like to ask you fellas a couple of questions. Last night there was a double murder, a police officer and a neighborhood boy, Bobby Washington. Do you know anything that might help us solve what happened to them? Did you know Bobby Washington?